Take Charge Parenting with the Kids Doctor is brought to you by Children's Health. lip is one of the most common birth defects, but what causes it and what can be done to help these babies regain their precious smile? Let's get answers from Dr. Sue Hubbard, an award-winning pediatrician and medical editor of KidsDoctor.com, and Dr. James Seward, who is a pe- pediatric plastic surgeon with Children's Health. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. All right, Dr. Sue, let's talk about the difference because I'm a little confused between the cleft lip and a cleft palate. Well, it's important to talk about the embryology of the developing fetus in utero. So this occurs early in the pregnancy, somewhere between 6 to 12 weeks. And the midline structures of the upper lip and nose and mouth form, and then they fuse together. So if you have incomplete fusion of the lip, you have a cleft lip. If you have incomplete fusion of the roof of the mouth, you have a cleft palate. And then you can have the combination of a cleft lip and a cleft palate together. Well, thank you for clearing that up. And you mentioned that the cause is because the fusion isn't complete. Correct. Things start on the side, which is really hard, Alana, for people to conceptualize, and then they meet in the midline. So all of our midline structures have come together early in embryology as the fetus is developing. We are so fortunate to have such a great group of pediatric plastic surgeons who I told him that's the first phone call to reassure a parent. All right, Dr. Stewart, let's talk a little bit. Craniofacial conditions, they're complex. Uh, Children's Health, they have a team of specialists to help prepare the condition. That's right. Craniofacial conditions are complex, and I believe the best way of treating children and their families is through a true multidisciplinary team approach. We have that at Children's Health, and that's something really special. So we have a combination of craniofacial surgeons or maxillofacial surgeons, ENT, feeding and speech specialists, orthodontics, pediatric dentistry, developmental psychology, social work, genetics, and a cleft team coordinator. What this means for the families is they come to one clinic visit and they can see multiple specialties with different areas of expertise um, in a convenient way, and we can provide the best care which is coordinated between specialists. So it's not just the cleft palate or the cleft lip. You're, you're treating many craniofacial abnormalities. That's right. My practice is purely pediatric, um, but my partners and I treat the full range of pediatric plastic and craniofacial surgery. It's a wide-ranging specialty, including clefts, head shape anomalies, ear and face deformities, anomalies involving blood vessels, including hemangiomas, and scarring and injuries from trauma. Now, other than the children who are dealing with the condition, what other things do they have to deal with along with that? So, kids can be cruel, and children born with craniofacial differences can suffer teasing, bullying, poor self-image, and they can develop anxiety in social situations due to their appearance. One of the great things about meeting a psychologist at every team visit is that problems are identified early, and the psychologists can help not only with the children and their families, but also addressing the issues through the school. So the bullying stops early, psychological impact is minimized, and the children have the best chance of developing a healthy self-image into their adult life. Now, I'm sure you guys are constantly doing research, but is there any cutting-edge research that you have been working on to help the kids and their families? Yes, we have an imaging and computational lab called the Analytical Imaging and Modeling, or AIM Center. Here we use a combination of 2D, 3D, 4D photography together with video and 3D printing to really kind of lead the way in craniofacial research. I'm going to give you some more information on how you can find out more. It's children's.com. Also, you can follow Children's Health and the Kids Doctor on Twitter and on Facebook. Just like you're always by your child's side, we're Children's Health, and we're by your side. Visit any of our 40 locations for exceptional pediatric care. 